Nothing ruins a perfectly good summer day quite like an aggressive horse or deer fly. That's what happened to Mike Dunlop as he tried to enjoy a day at the beach on Georgian Bay with his wife. But then, something happened. A pile of dragonflies came in and they started eating them and they were all spooked off. So we unloaded the boat again, spent the day with our new friends, the dragonflies, and uh, that was it. And that's because dragonflies are predators that love to hunt horseflies and deer flies. There's a dragonfly eating a horsefly on my mustache. The incident made Dunlop wonder if there was a way to replicate the dragonfly when there were none around. He started by fastening a cheap dragonfly to a wire and attaching it to the button of his cap. Flies. My wife let me out of the truck and said, well, away you go. So I stood out there without it on and I got swarmed. She passed the hat out the window to me and I put it on my head and within two minutes, maybe a minute and a half, they were gone. After several reincarnations, the dragonfly wingman was born. It's a lightweight decoy that attaches to your hat and mimics the movement of a real dragonfly. But why does it work? Deer flies and horse flies are visual hunters. Being a visual hunter, they spot their biggest predator, which is the dragonfly. As soon as they see it, they take off. Invented in Canada and tested in the great outdoors, the wingman is designed to subtly move with your steps or the breeze creating the illusion of a hovering predator. The invention was a huge success and proved to be even more popular after being featured on Dragon's Den. Each judge made an offer. It's a low-tech but clever fix in a world of bug sprays and high-frequency repellents. And it lets nature do the work.